Welcome to my third video in the series on how to set up Locus Maps for a good application for outdoor navigation. So this time I will show you what to set up and what to change in the settings. So you click on settings and we start with display. First full screen. So if your phone is a Samsung or any other phone with um, a back button and a home button that is not integrated into your screen then you should or you can use this option. If you have a Huawei device where your back and home button is somehow integrated in your screen then you shouldn't use that button because uh, it might bring you uh, into some troubles uh, in the submenus of this application. So the other settings are fine. And then we go into maps. Map uh, panels and buttons. So here, this we know already from the last video, and we choose the right panel hiding. Uh, but first of all, left actions panel, yes. So we keep track recording uh, enabled but we disable map content. Set. Okay, so next, right panel hiding, I activate it. And the hiding timeout, I change to six seconds. All right, go back um, and then map objects. Yeah, you you can have a look into this uh, sub menu, and but what I like or, or what I prefer is to turn on line to GPS and also a heading line and change the text size to 150. So I show you what that means. The first you see this 70 kilometer 45 and so. So this is a nice option from it's a line from the center of the screen to your actual GPS location. So for example if you're uh, riding your bike you um, move the center of the screen to the next intersection and while you're driving you can see automatically how far it is until the intersection where you turn left turn right and the one size of the 1.9 kilometer text is the text I changed from 100 percent to 150 because if you're writing and it's too small you cannot really read it so that's why I uh, changed the size so the orange um, line that turns <laughs> around now because I am turning the the smartphone around the set uh, axis so um, basically it gives you the direction on where you point your phone to so if you point your phone towards north the orange uh, arrows will show towards north Okay, let's go back to the settings. Settings and 
points and oops no maps points and tracks oh we did it already now uh, at the bottom advanced features so in advanced features um, we already turned on the map shading uh, I showed you in the last video and here you can increase the map resolution from 100% to whatever percent you want and that might make sense especially for your online maps like Google satellite pictures or other uh, maps that are very 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 small so that uh, zooms in a little bit so that you can easy read it good so let's go back to track recording well we want to add a new profile and that is a motorbike motorcycle profile and I would recommend you to change the distance interval to 12 meters and 3 seconds so that gives you a more detailed uh, track if it's too many points uh, for you so you can change it but I would also recommend you to change this uh, required accuracy from 100 meter to 60 meters so it starts only if your um, uh, GPS signal is good enough and even 60 meters is, uh, is a lot so good another uh, option I like to use is this automatic export because all my my files uh, or all my tracks I import into Google Maps uh, Google Earth and uh, I keep and I store them in Google Earth so it makes sense to save them automatically as a KML came set in a specific folder and I choose um, another directory and let's say KML export okay select set so every time I create or record a track it's automatically exported into this folder I don't need the settings but it's quite convenient good so almost done just let's go to navigation and here um, you can select what um, data source you use for calculation of your uh, new route so you can choose any of those online providers but I would recommend you to install the app B router down here at the bottom because then you can calculate uh, a route and do navigation without internet so that's quite nice also I would recommend you to change the color well not to change the color but the transparency from I don't know how many percent that was in the beginning to let's say 25 percent because then you can see uh, better the original road underneath okay close 
go back. Now language and unit. Um, there is this GPS because most providers uh, use this format. Also, well, you can change from meter to yard or miles, whatever. Um, yeah. If you choose to um, zoom in to the map, like like I showed you here, advanced features, uh, increase map resolution, enable. Let's say okay, I to four hundred percent. Okay, uh, if you do that, you you see some text become very very big and you can uh, change also only the size of text in vector maps so um, just to make sure what i'm doing you know now i have zoomed in into the vector map for 400 percent but that's not only the vector map it's also all maps also satellite maps you know um, let's go back to the vector map so now i want to change the size of the text and for that i go into the settings again maps offline maps and there's text size and i go let's say 50 percent set I cannot go smaller than 50%, but you see already um, that uh, helped me to get the text a bit smaller. But I mean, 400% oops, 400 zoom in doesn't make sense. Usually you would um, zoom in into all maps or about maybe 150 to 200 percent and maybe 150 is okay and then your offline map text size is just maybe let's say 75 percent and here we go yeah that makes sense maybe right good okay so that was my uh, tutorial on how to set up a locus with all the settings that are necessary or make sense and yeah in the future i might add some more videos on how to use locus but i don't have time to do it right now so yeah see you soon see you somewhere here on the trail in cambodia bye bye